Feeling lost? Do you face a situation where you can't find relevant resources for your assignment? Feeling frustrated despite tons of information published online? Imagine the anxiety you face when you can't find the right information for work. And you get overwhelmed with information overload from Google. Your time is wasted retrieving and filtering for relevant information. Feeling deflated? Introducing the Dreams Approach. Six surefire ways to make the most out of your online experience. Learn how to determine the extent of your information need, retrieve relevant resources, evaluate online information, appropriately use information, manage and share online information. Let's zoom in first on D and see how you can develop search strategies to get more relevant resources for your assignments and work projects. Let's say you are looking for scholarly documents on social media and marketing. To get exhaustive results, it would help to look for synonyms of your keywords from thesaurus.com. From here, you can look for alternative terms that can also stand for your keywords. Once you have keywords and their respective synonyms, the question is, how do you put these terms together to make an efficient and effective search? Remember these six techniques. First, use quotation marks to search terms as one phrase. This command will retrieve documents with terms in the exact order. This will retrieve documents containing social media and not social and media, appearing separately, as these may be irrelevant to your information needs. Second, use OR to retrieve articles containing keywords of similar meaning. This will broaden your search results and retrieve documents containing either of your keywords. Third, Use open and close parentheses to nest your search terms together. Nesting keywords 1 and 2 will look like this. Fourth, use wildcard to retrieve documents containing variations of the root word. This is done by placing an asterisk after the root word. In our example, the command will retrieve documents containing market and other possible word variations such as markets, marketing and marketer. Fifth, use AND to combine search terms 1 and 2. Our entire search string will look like this. Six, use NOT to limit your search results. In our example, you want to look for documents that contain food or dish, but not desserts. When searching Google, use the minus sign instead of the word not to exclude a search term from a group of terms. And, or, and not are known as Boolean operators. And, such as documents containing both terms, or such as documents containing either term, not confine search results to a group of terms. To recap, an effective search requires you to determine your keywords, look for synonyms of your keywords, and put these words together in a search string using commands. Some final tips. Lowercase or uppercase letters are okay as long as the spelling is correct. Do not use prepositions and null words such as a, an, the, in, of with your search terms. All documents have these words anyway and are not helpful when filtering documents with your preferred keywords. When searching Google or Google Scholar, you can easily trim down your search results. Size down your search results according to file type and web address. Trim down search results by file type. Simply type file type colon preferred file format your search term. 
Some common file formats include PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and PDF. You can also locate keywords from a preferred web address, type, site, colon, preferred URL domain, which can be any of the following. So get over your frustrations fast. The tips you have learnt here should enable you to search more effectively. Contact your NP library for any further inquiry. Get going and learn more of the Dreams approach in the succeeding modules.